Hello everybody, what is going on? It's me here back with another video. And today, my friends, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Reggie Ice or Reg Ice, however you want to say it. So we are in Freezington right now in the Crown Tundra, so that's where you have to be to start this. So I will show you guys what Pokemon you need. You need Cryogonal. Um, that's kind of the Pokemon you need in order to open this up. You guys will need him. So let's go down Frostpoint Field here, and we will proceed. Anyways, guys, I wanted to tell you guys thank you so much for the support I've been receiving on all these videos. I am really, really, really happy and ecstatic to teach you guys how to get to these places. So just follow where I'm going here. I'm not going to cover everything Crown Tundra, but the ones that I do happen to capture while I'm doing it, I will try to post them for you guys because I am recording a lot of this stuff for the channel. I will not be doing all of it. Like, I did get Cali Rex yesterday, and I did not record all of it. I just posted the beginning of it because I really did want to experience that with me and my friends. So I figured why not just show you guys kind of the beginning of it and then I'll just do the rest of it with my friends so that you know I can have a nice balance between YouTube and my personal life I think it's a really really cool idea and a really nice thing that I've been doing lately on this channel I'm really impressed with the way you guys are accepting the Pokemon content I will be going back to traditional gaming content this guy will sell you pokeballs and different things that you need and because you're gonna need a lot of them like I'm gonna definitely need a lot of them I did get Reggie Steel and it took me literally forever to get Reggie Steel. I think that was another crag or yeah or was that my crag no no, I think it was a different one. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's keep going up here. So you probably will find one up here while it's blizzarding out. That's the only way you can really get it. You got to check the weather if you did not see it while it is blizzarding. Bl how do you say bl it, while it is having a blizzard, I guess you would say. So you want to go through here. Now, this part's where it gets a little tricky, but not too, too tricky. There's one right there. There's one. So it doesn't get too, too tricky, but just a little tricky. So you want to go through here. And you want to turn here, keep going, keep going. Now this part you kind of do have to pay attention to. Now right here, um, no, you don't go that way. Okay, so yeah, you're going to turn in here, and you're going to see this big uh, thing like that. And then you're going to come in here, and this is it right here. So now get your cryagonal ready, and then the doors will open. I've already done that part, so the door's already open for me. Now you have to hit each and every one of these little dots on the floor in order to um, make him come out. So I'm just going to do that right now. And we're going to move on from there, guys. Why is this controller being like this? Okay, let's try to talk to him now. Why is nothing happening? Did I mess up something? Um, oh, okay, yes, I, I didn't do I didn't do this right. Okay, so hit these on the floor. Yes, now it'll work. Okay. Something changed in the air. Oh my god, I, I think I just hit it again. I think I literally just hit my foot on it. Yep, I did. All right, we need to go back then. Oh god, I just messed them all up. Sorry guys. I'm gonna do my best here to get this going for you guys. Alright, now let's try that. Hopefully this time it should work now. It's illuminated. So now we're gonna get into a battle with Reg Ice here. Reggie Ice, whatever you want to call him. I call him Reg Ice because that's I think how it's technically pronounced. I'm not 100 percent sure on that one. So we've encountered a wild Reg Ice. Um, I'm gonna shoot out my Cryagonal, but that's gotta change immediately because there's no hope of me surviving with Cryagonal, especially because he has 13 health points. So we're gonna go with Calyrex now. And I'm going to try to catch this thing for you guys. And it's going to be a really, really cool thing we're going to do here. So let's throw out Calyrex here. And let's get this going here. Okay. So I think first of all, what I want to do is start with is use Calyrex as a, um, to kind of knock his health down. And then from there, I'm going to throw a Pokeball. But I need to find a couple moves that don't do too much damage, but do enough. So that's kind of what I'm going to do here. No, I don't want to throw a Pokeball just yet. I'm going to do Psychic to start with here. And let's just hope that does some decent damage here. All right, that's not enough damage, so I'm not going to use Psychic again. I'm going to try something new this time when I do attack him. So let's try a new one now. Um, let's try Astro Barrage, I think. Yeah, Barrage, Barrage, I don't know how to say it. Let's try it. It's kind of like his signature move for the Ghost Horse. Really, really am liking the design of Calyrex on the horse. I wasn't a big fan of Calyrex by himself, but on the horse, I think he looks pretty, pretty sweet. What do you guys think? You guys like him like that or not? I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. So, we're just going to keep using Astral Barrage here to try to knock his health points down a little bit. And it's working pretty, pretty well, I'd say. Um, Zap, Zap Cannon is going to be a problem for us. Okay, so it did give us Paralysis, which, I don't know, that's that's kind of tough for Calyrex. I hope he can actually, yeah, he can get through this. I knew he could. Calyrex is a really good Pokemon. I'm really impressed with it. Okay. How are you guys feeling about the Crown Tundra as a whole? For me, I'm still holding 
saying that I think it's better than the Isle of Armor by a long shot. I do like winter, it's my favorite time of year, and I think it's kind of cool that this is basically all based around the winter time. So let's just try to get his health down a little more, and then we should be good after that. We should easily get this here. So this should be the last one we do. No, we're going to hit him one more time because I want to get him on red. There's pretty much no hope of catching him if he's not on red, just to let you guys know that. So I'm going to Psychic him because I don't, even if Astral Barrage didn't run out, I still would have used Psychic because I don't want to kill him. And Astral Barrage, there's a chance there I will kill him, but with Psychic, I knew I wasn't going to kill him. So now we're going to start throwing Ultra Balls at it and just pray for the best. About 110 of them, just for the spent like 70 some thousand just for this. Obviously, I'm not going to use all of them, but I'll probably use a good amount of them. And you know what? I'm going to speed this up right here, and then we're going to come back at the end after I have caught him. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh my god, we're guys, we're about to catch it. Oh yes, we got it. We got him, guys. We got Regice. Regice was just caught. So everybody, it took me a long time. I did speed it up so you guys could see it, but we did finally get him, guys. I'm really, really excited about that to add him into my Pokedex and try to complete this Pokedex. He weighs 385 pounds, bro. Uh, we're going to send him to a box, I think. Yeah, we'll send him to the box. Anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. It really does make me happy that you guys are enjoying these videos. And I hope to see you guys watching more how-tos on the Crown Tundra. This was how to catch Regice or how to get Regice. I don't know what I'm going to name the um, video just yet. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, like I already said. Jimmy out of here. Thank you guys again for all the support.